Hi everyone. So for today, we'll be working on a solution for problem set 2, which is readability. So in this problem set, we are looking to implement a program that will advise the approximate grade level needed to comprehend some text. So this means that the user will be prompted to key in some text and the output will be the corresponding grade level. So this will be done through the use of the Coleman Lao index, where the formula is index equals to 0 0.0588 times L minus 0 0.296 times S minus 15.8, where L is the average number of letters per 100 words and where S is the average number of sentences per 100 words. So for example, the user will be prompted to key in an input which would be a few sentences of text and the system will let you know which grade level it should correspond with. So let's first look at the parameters and considerations that we have. So the program needs to count the number of letters, words and sentences in the text key in. It's helpful that they determine some parameters for us. So for example, letters will include any lowercase or uppercase letters. Words will be defined as any sequence of characters separated by spaces. And sentences will be defined as a sequence of characters separated by a period, which is a full stop, exclamation point or question mark. So what will be the structure of our code? So firstly, we should prompt the user for the input and print the text out. And based on what was written in lab 2, they want us to first print the number of letters in the text, followed by printing the number of words in the text, followed by printing the number of sentences in the text, and lastly, applying the formula for the Coleman Lao index to determine the grade level. So let's first prompt the user for input and print out the text. This is quite straightforward, so let's go straight to C. So we'll start with our usual headers. But then now we'll also include string and include math. Okay, then we'll do in main void. So we're going to start with the first section that we need to do. So that would be to prompt user for text. Okay, so we'll declare that it will be a string called text. And we will get string where we prompt the user to key in the text. And now what we want is that we want to print back this string of text. So, okay, so now let's try this out. Oops, I see an error. Okay, good. We see that whenever we key in the text, the system will print back the string of text uh, for us to see. So that would be the first section. Next, we want to print the number of letters in the text. How do we do this? So we had covered this in the solution for Lab 2 Scrabble. So do hop over to my other video where I covered the solution for Scrabble if you haven't caught it yet. So essentially, we'll be getting the program to go through each letter in the string, represented by text square bracket i and count as long as the character falls between uppercase A and Z or between lowercase A and Z on the ASCII chart. So let's put this in C. So moving on to the next section, we want to count the number of letters that are in the text, right? So I'll declare that there will be an integer called letters and it starts with 0 and then I'll say that for int i equals to 0 and as long as i is less than the string, the length of the string of text key in, which we'll use the length to represent, and you go through every letter, right? So what we're saying is that if the text is greater than the lowercase a or less than the lowercase z in the ASCII chart, so let's write that in C. Right. Or if now if the text is greater than uppercase A or less than uppercase Z. Right, then we'll count it as the letters. And then what we want to do is that we want the system to print
Okay, so now let's just compile this. Right, and there you go. The system should show that it will print back the text and the number of letters. So to clean this up, maybe I can declare that we will do a break line. So let's try again. Okay, and there you go. So this is the second section that we are supposed to do. Now, we want to print the number of words in the text. We are told that we will consider a sequence of text as a word if it is separated by a space. So this means that to find the number of words in the text, we can actually just count the number of spaces. Let's take this example. So if we print, Hello, this week will be a great week. You will see that there are 7 spaces, but actually 8 words. So this is because the last word of the sentence does not have a space after it. So the number of words in a sentence would be the number of spaces plus 1. So let's put this in C. So let me label the next section. Okay, so now I'm going to declare that there will be an integer called words. And now we actually start with 1, okay, as per our discussion earlier on. So now I'll repeat something similar. Okay, so what happens now we're going to say is that if the text, the particular character is a space, we will want to count it because we already discussed that um, we can count the number of words by counting the number of blank spaces that are in the text. Okay, so if the particular character is a blank space, then we will actually put it as a count. Then now, likewise, I'm going to print. Okay, so now let's give this a try. Hello, how are you? Now you see the system will actually print the text, the number of letters, and the number of words. So this is the third section that we need to do. Next, we want to print the number of sentences in the text. So for this lab 2, they have actually defined the sentence to be one where the sequence of characters ends only either with a period, which is a full stop, exclamation mark, or question mark. So this means we just need to calculate the number of periods, exclamation marks, and question marks in the text. So let's put this in C. So let me label the next section to count the number of sentences. So I'm going to declare that there will be an integer called sentences. Likewise, we will analyze the whole string of text that was actually key in. So as long as i is less than the length of the string of text key in, we will be going through every character. Okay, so now we've already decided that a sentence will be considered as a string of text that ends with a period, exclamation mark, or question mark. So now I'm going to say that if the text contains a full stop, or the text contains an exclamation mark, or if the text contains a question mark, Right, we will count it as a part of the sentence. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just print how many sentences there are. Okay, now let's give this a go. Hello, how are you? I am fine. Okay, and there you go. You can see that this will actually print the number of letters, the number of words, and the number of sentences. So this would be another segment that we are supposed to do, which is to count the number of sentences. Now, we want to apply the Coleman Lao Index to determine the grade level. So we know the formula of the index is 0 0.0588 times L, minus 0 0.296 times S, minus 15.8, where L represents the average number of letters per 100 words in the text, so L equals to letters divided by words times 100. And S is the average number of sentences per 100 words in the text. So similarly, we'll take S equals to sentences divided by words multiplied by 100. So you can imagine that when we're doing all these calculations, right, we will actually get a float because we are doing multiplication and division. So this means that there will probably be the decimal point in a series of numbers after that. So remember, we should calculate the index as a float first 
to ensure that the decimals are not truncated. Then we will convert the result into an integer, since our output, which is a grade level, should be an integer. So it should look like this, where calculation will be used to represent the result that is a float when we apply the formula. So it will be float calculation equals to 0 0.0588 times L, where L would be letters divided by words times 100, minus 0 0.296 times S, which is sentences divided by words times 100, minus 15.8. So from this line, our result will actually be a float. Then we want to convert this into an index. So we'll declare that there will be an integer called index, and we will round it to the nearest integer. So we'll put round bracket calculation. So let's put all this in C. So let me label the next section. Okay, so as we discussed earlier on, we use a float first when we were working on the calculation. So now we're going to apply the formula like what we had discussed earlier. Okay, so that is the Coleman Lau index in action. So now what I want to do is that I want to convert this into an integer. So I'm going to say that there'll be an integer called index. And now what we're going to do is that we're going to round up the calculation. Okay, so now we want to print out the um, corresponding grade level that we're looking at. And there are really three scenarios. So for example, if the index is less than 1, we're going to print F before grade 1. Okay. And then if it prints out before grade 1, we will just stop the system from running. Or else, um, we'll move on to the next possible scenario. So we'll say else if index is greater or equals to 16, then we will print that the leading grade is above 16. So we'll put grade 16 plus. Okay. And then likewise, we'll return 0 if it really prints that the reading, the reading grade is greater than grade 16. And for all other scenarios, what we'll do is that we'll actually print the reading grade level. So we'll say that we actually print an integer, right? And that would be actually the index that we have calculated. So before I compile this, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just remove this part where we actually print the number of sentences, print the number of words. And when we printed the number of letters and we printed the number of text because we do not need this part anymore, right? So now I'm just going to compile this. Make readability. Now let's try the sample text that we're given. Let's try one fish, two fish. Okay, so this is also before grade one, so that's correct. So now I'm going to try something longer. Grade 10, so that is also correct. And now... I'm going to try something that should be beyond grade 16. And yep, there you go. So this is the solution for readability. So if you enjoyed this video and found it to be informative, it would really mean a lot to me if you could press the like button and also subscribe to my channel. This will greatly help the algorithm in pushing up this video to recommend this to others who are looking for the solution as well. Thank you and see you in the next video.